Marco Pantani was an Italian road racing cyclist, widely considered one of the best climbers of his era in professional road bicycle racing. He won both the Tour de France and the Giro d'Italia in 1998, being the sixth Italian after Ottavio Bottecchia, Gino Bartali, Fausto Coppi, Felice Gimondi and Gaston Mancini to win the Tour de France. He is the last cyclist to win the Giro and the Tour in the same year. His attacking style and aggressive riding turned him into a fan favorite in the late 1990s. He was known as Il Pirata because of his shaved head and the bandana and earrings he always wore. At 1.72 m and 57 kg, Marco Pantani had the classic build for a mountain climber. His style contrasted with that of time trialing experts such as the five times tour winner Miguel Indurain. Although he never tested positive during his career, his career was beset by doping allegations. In the 1999 Giro d'Italia, he was expelled due to his irregular blood values. Although he was disqualified for health reasons, it was implied that Pantani's high hematocrit was the product of EPO use. Following later accusations, Pantani went into a depression from which he never fully recovered. He died of acute cocaine poisoning in 2004. Professional career, early career, Pantani was born on January 13, 1970 in Sina, Romagna, the son of Ferdinando and Tonina. He joined the Fausto Coppi Cycling Club of Cisanatico at the age of 11. As an amateur, he won the 1992 Girobio, the amateur version of the Giro d'Italia after finishing third in 1990 and second in 1991. His success at the Girobio led to his turning professional for the remainder of the 1992 season with Divide Boa Fava's Carrera Jeans Vagabond. While signing the contract, barely above the minimum established, he asked Boa Fava what would happen if he were to win the Giro d'Italia or the Tour de France, requesting a change in the contract. He finished 12th in his first professional race, the Grand Premio Città di Camaya. In 1993, his first full season as a professional, he finished fifth at the mountainous course of Giro del Trentino and debuted at the Giro d'Italia in order to help his team leader, Claudio Caiapucci. He was forced to abandon the race in the 18th stage due to tendinitis. In 1994, he finished fourth at the Giro del Trentino and the Giro di Toscana before his second participation at the Giro d'Italia, where he was supposed to help Caiapucci. He won two consecutive mountain stages, earning his first victory as a professional in the 14th stage to Murano. In the following stage to Aprica, which featured the renowned Stelvio Pass and the Mortirolo Pass, Pantani attacked at the base of Mortarolo and broke free at the Balico di Santa Cristina to win the stage at Aprica and place second in the overall classification. He ultimately finished the race behind Eugenie Berzin but ahead of Miguel Indurain, who had won the two previous gyros. That same year Pantani made his Tour de France debut, coming in third and winning the young rider classification along the way. In 1995, he was hit by a car while training preventing him from riding the gyro, but rode the tour and won stages at Alpe d'Huez and Guzit Nerge. He also finished 13th and claimed his second successive Best Young Rider prize. He also won a stage at the Tour de Suisse and finished third in the 1995 World Championships road race in Duitama, Colombia, behind Spaniards Abraham Olano and Miguel Indurain. Shortly after returning to Italy, he collided head-on with a car during the Italian Milano a Euro Torino race, sustaining multiple fractures to the left tibia and fibula, injuries that threatened his career and forced him to miss most of the 1996 season. 1997, Mercato Nuno When Carrera Jeans manufacturer stopped sponsoring the renowned Italian cycling team Carrera Jeans Tarsoni at the end of 1996, a new team based in Italy was formed with Marco Pantani as the team leader. Luciano Pezzi founded Mercato Nuno, taking with him as director sportifs Giuseppe Martinelli, David Cassani and Alessandro Giannelli and ten of the riders from Carrera. Pantani returned to the Giro in 1997, but he was injured when a black cat caused an accident in front of him during one of the first stages. Even though he completed the stage, he was treated at a hospital for a muscle injury in the same leg he had hurt in 1995. 
he returned to action at the 1997 Tour de France and won two stages in the Alps, establishing a record time for the climb of Alpe d'Huez and winning two days later at Morzin. Jan Ulrich won, with Pantani third behind Richard Vierink. 1998 Giro d'Italia In 1998, Pantani was considered a favorite to win the Giro d'Italia. Other contenders included Alex Tsar one quarter left, 1996 winner Pavel Tonkov and 1997 winner Ivan Gotti. Tsar won quarter led won the initial prologue in Nice and also won the sixth stage to Lago Le Seno, but Pantani recovered some time in the mountain stage to Pen Cavallo. Pantani lost further time to his main rivals during the 15th stage, an individual time trial in Trieste. By that point, Pantani faced a disadvantage of almost four minutes to Tsar one quarter le before the Dolomites mountain stages and an individual time trial on the penultimate stage, a discipline that favored Tsar one quarter le and Tonkov. In the 17th stage to Selva di Val Gardina, Pantani took the Maglia Rosa, the leader's jersey, for the first time in his career after attacking Tsar one quarter le on the Marmolida climb. Although Pantani crossed the finish line behind Giuseppe Grinai, he finished over four minutes ahead of Tsar one quarter left, maintaining an advantage of 30 seconds on the general classification over Tonkov, 31 seconds on Gorinai and over a minute on Tsar one quarter left. In the following stage to Alp di Pampago, he finished second behind Tonkov but maintained the general classification lead over him and gained further time on Tsar one quarter left and Gorinai. In the 18th stage to Plan di Monte Ampion, he repeatedly attacked Tonkov dropping him in the last three kilometers and winning the stage to face the individual time trial on the penultimate stage with a lead of almost a minute and a half. Tsar won quarter le lost contact with the favorites in the first climb and ended up losing over 30 minutes. Having won over two minutes on Pantani in the previous time trial, Tonkov was considered superior to Pantani on the time trial discipline, but the Italian finished third in the penultimate stage gaining an additional five seconds on Tonkov. Pantani was thus able to maintain his lead to win the Giro d'Italia with a minute and a half over Tonkov and more than six minutes over Gorinai. He also won the mountains classification and finished second in the points classification. 1998 Tour de France In the Tour de France, Pantani started the race by finishing 181st of 189 riders in the opening prologue, and losing over four minutes in the first individual time trial to 1997 Tour de France winner Jan Ulrich. Pantani pulled back these early time losses to Ulrich, first in the Pyrenees by taking 23 seconds off Ulrich in the stage to Lucknow and winning the stage to Plateau de Bile, where he took an additional minute and 40 seconds from Ulrich. Although he was still three minutes behind Ulrich after the Pyrenees, he defeated him by almost nine minutes in the first mountain stage in the Alps, from Grenoble to Leyde Alps, via the Col de la Croix de Fer and Col du Galibia. Pantani launched an attack on the ascent of Galibia, 48 kilometers from the finish. He stopped to put on a rain jacket at the summit to win on the final ascent to De Alps. Pantani turned his three-minute deficit on Ulrich into a six-minute advantage that he maintained in the following stages to win the Tour de France ahead of Jan Ulrich and Bobby Jalic. Pantani became the first Italian since Valais Gimondi in 1965 to win the Tour and the seventh rider in history to achieve the Giro Tour double, a feat which no one had achieved since Miguel Indurain succeeded in 1993. As of 2014, he is the last rider to win the Giro and the Tour in the same year. Following his success in the tour, he stated that he may have won the cleanest tour because of the fear of police following the Festina affair. Although he had just ended what would be his most successful season and he had always dreamed about winning the yellow jersey, he later stated that he felt more alone than ever. French cycling magazine Bar Copyright Low magazine awarded him the Below Don as the best rider of 1998. 1999, expelled at Madonna di Camplio. In 1999, Pantani started the season by winning a stage in the overall classification of Vuelta a Mercia as well as a stage at the Setmana Catalana de Ciclism. Pantani was leading the Giro d'Italia, with only one mountain stage left, when a blood test at Madonna di Gamplio showed that he had a 52% hematocrit reading, above the 50% upper limit set by UCI. 
he was expelled from the race and forced to take a two-week break from racing, with no further action taken. At the time of his disqualification, Pantani had won four stages and held a comfortable lead of 5 minutes and 38 seconds over Paolo Savoldelli and also led in the points and mountains classifications. As a result, the entire Mercato and Uno Biancai team withdrew from the race. Pantani stayed away from the rest of the year's races. 2000 a Euro 03, the late years. In 2000, he was back in the gyro after deciding to ride only the day before the race started. He lost time and could not attack until the last mountain stage to Brianna section on, in which he helped his teammate Stefano Gazzoli to win. Pantani rode the 2000 Tour de France. He was off the pace in the Pyrenees, but matched Lance Armstrong on Mont Ventoux, leaving the field behind. Armstrong eased and appeared to allow Pantani the stage victory. Pantani told that he felt insulted by the gesture, causing bad feelings between the two exacerbated when Armstrong referred to him as Elefantino, a reference to his prominent ears. In that same tour, he won another stage, to Courchevel, that turned out to be his last victory as a professional. At that point, he was sixth in the overall classification, facing a disadvantage of nine minutes to Armstrong. On the next stage, which featured the all-category called de Jou Plain to Morzin, Pantani broke away with 120 a km to go, trying to crush Armstrong, but he suffered stomach problems and withdrew the next day. He never raced the tour again. Later in the year he represented Italy in the Sydney Olympics road race, finishing 69th. After that, he raced sporadically in 2001 and 2002, although he was morally defeated from doping suspicions and had poor results. During the 2001 Giro d'Italia, Italian police raided the rooms of riders from all 20 teams and a syringe containing traces of insulin was found in Pantani's room. He was banned for eight months by the Italian Cycling Federation, but later won an appeal due to an absence of proof. In 2003, Pantani made another comeback in the Giro d'Italia, finishing 14th overall. His best stage result was a fifth position after launching an unsuccessful attack on the slopes of the Monte Zuan Colon, while he launched his last attacks on the 19th stage to Cascata del Tuc. It was the last time he rode a professional cycling race. After his team was not invited to the 2003 Tour de France, it was speculated that he would join Biancai in order to ride the tour but in late June he made a plea for privacy following his admission to a psychiatric clinic which specialized in nervous disorders, drug addiction and alcoholism. After being released from the clinic, he was acquitted of a pending court case for sporting fraud regarding his blood values in 1999 Gyro d'Italia because doping was not considered a crime in 1999. Pantani told an Italian newspaper that cycling fans had to forget about Pantani as an athlete while stating that cycling was the last thing on his mind and that he had gained weight. Death In the early evening of February 14, 2004, Pantani was found dead at a hotel in Rimini, Italy. An autopsy revealed he had a cerebral edema and heart failure, and a coroner's inquest revealed acute cocaine poisoning. Pantani spent the last days of his life isolated from his friends and family and barricaded himself inside his hotel room. Pantani's ex-girlfriend Christina Johnson, in an April 2004 interview to Swiss news magazine Libdo, indicated that following his expulsion from the 1999 Gyro d'Italia, Pantani had confessed to her he had started using cocaine. In 2008, Fabio Carlino was convicted of supplying Pantani with a dose of ultra-pure cocaine that caused his death. The conviction was overturned in 2011 by the Court of Cassation after the acting prosecutor expressed doubts regarding the verdict, while stating that he a year ago had the impression that the exaggerated media publicity surrounding Mr. Pantani's death led the judges to an excessive attribution of responsibility a euro. Pantani was buried in his hometown, Cisanatico. 20,000 mourners were at his funeral, attended by Franco Bellerini, Alberto Tomba, Azalio Vecini, Mario Cipollini and Diego Maradona among others. During the funeral, his manager Manuela Runcai read notes that Pantani had written in his passport during a trip to Cuba. For four years I've been in every court, I just lost my desire to be like all the other sportsmen, 
but cycling has paid and many youngsters have lost their faith in justice. All my colleagues have been humiliated, with TV cameras hidden in their hotel rooms to try and ruin families. How could you not hurt yourself after that? Miguel Indurain, five times Tour de France winner, praised Pantani by saying, he got people hooked on the sport. There may be riders who have achieved more than him, but they never succeeded in drawing in the fans like he did. Legacy In the years following his death, Pantani was the subject of several articles, books, songs and a film. Biographies and accounts on the life of Pantani have been written by, among others, sports journalists John Wilcoxon and Matt Rendell. Manuela Runcai, Pantani's manager for five years, published an account on the last few years of Pantani's life titled Man on the Run. Tonina Pantani, his mother, also published a book in 2008 titled Era Mio Flio. A graphic novel titled Gli Ultimi Gioni di Marco Pantani was released in 2011, chronicling the events that led up to Pantani's death. It was based on a book published by French journalist Philippe Brunel, a friend of Pantani, suggesting that Pantani may have been murdered. Italian television RAI aired a television film in 2007 titled Il Pirata, Marco Pantani, a biographical film which starred Rolando Ravolo as Marco Pantani. A documentary on Pantani's life titled Pantani, The Accidental Death of a Cyclist was released in May 2014 in cinemas. The memorial Marco Pantani has been organized annually since 2004 in his memory. The race starts in season Attico, Pantani's hometown, and follows a route towards his birthplace, Sina. Giro d'Italia's organizers decided to dedicate a mountain pass to Pantani's memory every year. In the 2004 edition, the first sign of Pantani was Mortirolo Pass, a mountain that played a key role in Pantani's history. When Mortirolo was included in the gyro for the third time in 1994, Pantani attacked and left everyone behind to earn a win at Aprica. The 16th stage of 2004 Tour de France was dedicated to Pantani's memory. This stage was an individual time trial up to Alpe d'Huez, where Marco Pantani won in 1995 and 1997. A number of monuments and memorials have been erected in his honor at, among other places, Mortirolo Pass, Colfornaiera, Colduglibia and his hometown Cisanatico. Doping, after being disqualified at the 1999 Giro d'Italia for an hematocrit reading of 52%, above the 50% upper limit set by UCI. Pantani faced persistent allegations of doping throughout the rest of his career. The trial for the 1999 Giro d'Italia irregular blood values began in April 2003 and Pantani was eventually acquitted because doping was not considered a crime by the law at that time. In early June 1999, a few days after Pantani was expelled from the 1999 Giro d'Italia, a court condemned the town of Turin to compensate him for an accident in the 1995 edition of the Milano a Euro Torino, which forced Pantani to undergo several surgeries and a long recovery to get back on his bike. A few days later, Italian prosecutor Rafael Garaniello accused Pantani of a sporting offence after he discovered, by looking through trial and medical records, that Pantani's hematocrit after the accident was over 60%. Although the results didn't surface until 1999, in early 1997 UCI had decided to implement blood testing, imposing a 50% upper limit for hematocrit. A rider with a value above 50% was given a compulsory two-week suspension. The test was designated as a health test although it was administered on suspicion that the athlete was using the banned blood-boosting drug, EPO. During the proceeding, Investigators tried to find a reason for Pantani's high hematocrit values, including an hematocrit value of 57.6% recorded on May 1, 1995, at a hospital after he had an accident while training, an investigation in which the doctor pointed out the presence of abnormal hematological values. Upon Garinello's request to see Pantani's medical record after his accident at the 1997 Gyro d'Italia, it was revealed that the blood test results had disappeared from the folder at the hospital and the police did not rule out intentional removal. Pantani was eventually indicted on a so-called a Euro OE fraud in Sport a Euro, 
but his lawyers argued that Pantani's hematocrit may have been elevated by a combination of training at high altitude in September, suffering from dehydration during the race, trauma of his accident and a margin of error for the sampling method. The original case started in Turin, but was moved to Fula upon Pantani's lawyer's requests. Although he initially received a three-month suspended sentence, Pantani's lawyers appealed and the case was dismissed in late 2001 because the law itself had been passed only in 1999. In 1999, the Italian newspaper La Repubblica published information that linked Marco Pantani to an investigation on the use of performance-enhancing substances in Italian sports. According to the information released by the newspaper, Francesco Concani administered EPO to Italian athletes from 1993 to 1998, including Pantani and other cyclists of Carrera. It was revealed that Pantani's name appeared on a file marked DBLAB, seized from Concani's Biomedical Research Institute at Ferrara, which detailed athletes' hematocrit levels between 1993 and 1995. In 1994, his hematocrit values fluctuated from 40.7% on March 16, early in the season, to 54.55% on May 23, during the first stages of the Giro d'Italia. His values reached 58% on June 8, after winning two stages of the race, and were 57.4% on July 27, after the Tour de France. In March 1995, his hematocrit values had dropped to 45%, but they reached 56% in July during the Tour de France, where he won two stages, and over 60% in October, after the accident in the Milano or Euro Torino. In 2004, Concani and his two assistants were acquitted by Judge Franca Oliva because the crimes were not deemed illegal at the time although they were deemed morally guilty of promoting doping. During the 2001 Giro d'Italia, a syringe containing traces of insulin was found in Pantani's room. Pantani claimed that the insulin had been planted and that he did not stay in the room that night. In 2002, he was banned for eight months by the Italian Cycling Federation, but he later won an appeal due to an absence of proof. In 2006, two years after his death, Pantani was linked to the Operation Cube den Puerto doping case. According to documentation released by Spanish radio network Cadena SER, Pantani was allegedly given the codename PTNI by Eufemiano Fuentes, with a detailed program in 2003, his last season, including EPO, growth hormone, insulin, levothroid and IGF-1. Italian newspaper Corriere della Sera indicated that he was administered over 40,000 units of EPO, seven doses of growth hormone. 30 doses of anabolic steroids and 4 doses of hormones used to treat menopause. In 2006 Giza S. Manzano, a Spanish professional road racing cyclist whose statements led the Guardia Civil to conduct the Operation Cube den Puerto investigation, disclosed in an interview with French television channel France 3 that Pantani was a client of Euphemiano Fuentes. On the penultimate stage of 1998 Giro d'Italia, Pantani's teammate Ricardo Falconi was expelled from the race for an hematocrit value above 50%. Ivano Fanini, the manager of Amor and Vita Guru Willio 2000 Beretta, suggested during the early stages of 1999 Giro d'Italia that Pantani and Falconi had exchanged their blood samples in order to avoid Pantani's disqualification. According to Fanini, Falconi's hematocrit value the previous day was only 47%. In 2008 Fanini further claimed that Falconi had received a house for the exchange but Falconi refuted these claims. Matt Rendell's biography of Pantani suggests Pantani used recombinant erythropoietin throughout his professional career. It alleges that seasonal hematocrit levels from several sources showed variations which exceeded those possible naturally, and that Pantani's main victories were probably won also thanks to blood hematocrit levels which could have been up to 60%. A French Senate report into doping released in July 2013 confirmed that Pantani had tested positive for EPO during retroactive testing of samples from the 1998 Tour de France conducted in 2004. Major Results, Source Grand Tour's Overall Classification Results Timeline, WD equals Withdrew, References Further Reading, Fior, Stefano 
Pantani Vive. Dia Cluna. ISBN A 978-90-77562-05-5, Rendell, Matt. The Death of Marco Pantani A Euro A Biography. Weidenfelden Nicholson. ISBN A 978-0-297-85096-0A, Ronkai, Manuela. Unwono and Fuga Euro La Vera Storia di Marco Pantani. Rizzoli. ISBN A 978-88-17-00367-4A, Ronkai, Manuela. Man on the Run A Euro The Life and Death of Marco Pantani. Robson Books. ISBN A 978-1-86105-920-8A, Wilcoxon, John. Marco Pantani A Euro The Legend of a Tragic Champion. Velo Press. ISBN A 978-1-931382-65-6A, External Links, Official Website of Fondasian Marco Pantani, Marco Pantani Profile at Cycling Archives.